So I'm going to show you some of the things that I experimented with. I also added horizontal and vertical detection. So as you can see, there's points on the ground and also on the walls. And here's an example of me just touching the phone and basically just moving, just moving the phone around. So I'm going to show you. Here's another one. I'm just basically just moving and walking as I move my phone. It's really hard to see, but there's a shadow on the on the green screen that shows me moving. But I'm yeah, I'm basically moving my my hands around so you can see the curves. I also fixed some of the colors on the on the lines, and I can now select whether I want the randomized you know randomized line. And basically, it just sets a star and an end color, which is why you can see. A little bit of a gradient here starting from blue to orange and I still have some box because as you can see if I if I press the menu button I, I start drawing but I'm gonna be fixing that later here I increase the size of the curve and you can see that it's much larger let me and I'm walking around just kind of showing you that all of that is working let me go forward a little bit more here I'm trying to draw a little stick figure and by no means I'm not as artistic at all when it comes to AR. <laughs> this does not look good, but you know, if you are very creative and you're more artistic than I am, I'm sure you can create some really cool effects. So I try to improve the curve on the, so as you can see, there's like a little bit of broken vertices on the edges of the curve. I still need to improve that. This one I'm showing you that I can place a particle system on the wall. So on the previous video, I showed you how I could do it on the ground. But now with horizontal and vertical detection, I can do it either on the floor or also on the walls. Here's another example of the what I call the rain effect. So I have rain and I also have the, you know, everything that I have drawn before. And I'm just, you know, trying different, different colors, doing randomized colors. And as you can see, I can, I can do that. Let me go forward a little bit more. And right about, I just want to show you, okay. Right about here is when it gets really cool because I have the you know have the portal with fire that is surrounding us, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to move my phone around a little bit more so that you can see. So I'm just creating a couple of curves going up, and if I go inside, I can actually get you know the the actual curve inside of the the portal, and everything is you know based on where you are in respect to augmented reality. So this is the thing that I that I want to fix, and I'm sorry to point out the fixes, but you can see that there's some they're really not circular, so the the edges they just need to be improved, and I need to keep playing around with it to make sure that I can I can make sure these are smooth curves and they don't have you know those broken edges like that. If I do it pretty fast, it works really well. I just want to start just giving it a lot of detail. Here I'm just basically touching on the screen. And it's gonna fast forward a little bit more, right about, actually go back a little bit more. So here's an example of me moving the phone and then just going in circles and just can see how we can create those springs. And you know, this is what I call abstract art. It's not beautiful, but it's just cool to play with. And yeah, just keep drawing and, and just keep playing around. And, and that's basically what I did with, with this demo. So what I wanna show you now is I wanna show you what I have in Unity. Some of the things that I changed, so of course I changed the AR Plane Manager. I had it set to only horizontal, so I was only doing ground detection and now I'm doing also vertical detection. I'm debating whether I'm gonna be doing AR Point Cloud detection or not, because for the most part, if I can get the planes to detect the ground and the floor, that is enough for the reference points to know you know, where to place the curves, the, the actual drawings that I'm making. I don't think I need an AR point and also an AR plane manager, but I'm gonna be testing with that. For now, I have both. And that's what you can see, you know, the blast symbols showing, and that's because it's doing feature points. So some of the other things that I also added is I had a what's called tolerance options. And, and for now, this is okay. I'm not gonna enable it. But if I wanna enable it, what's gonna happen is if I draw a line and I can show you how that works, it's going to try to simplify the line. And the reason why I did that is because for performance. So depending on the device, if I'm running on a high-end device and I were to draw something, I think I think in my computer it's it's gonna be you know super performant. But if you're running on an older device, you know, drawing that many points, because look at the minimum distance between points is set to 0 0.001. So you know every time it reaches that distance, it's going to it's basically going to draw a new point. 
And, and that's a lot. Of, I mean, that could be a lot of overhead. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing simplification. So let's say that I wanted to enable this and I could set the tolerance. I could say, you know, after how many points I'm, I'm going to simplify the curve. And if I start drawing right now, you're going to see that the curve got simplified. It doesn't look pretty, but it got simplified. I still have some issues because as you can see, it's really hard to see, but there's a line that is going to the pivot point. I need to fix that, but the line is actually getting simplified. So if I were to change this to a, a lower number, then the line is not going to be as simplified as we can, but it's actually some of the points are getting removed from the curve. So let me go ahead and remove this and I'm going to go, let me just go a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. So I'm going to go and you can, you're going to see the curve is getting simplified. The algorithm to do that, it's still not right. So I still need to fix that. But that's some of the things that I added this time. I also added the ability to change the color of the curve. So I'm just going to disable this for now. And then we're going to go here and then clear everything. And this wasn't working on the previous video. Now it's, it's actually working. So I can go ahead and select the random color. And you can see the color preview. And this was working on one of the initial videos. It broke because I changed the implementation. So now if I do, you know, if I do something like that, I can go here and then it'll have a different color. So this actually looks really cool. Like if I start playing around with some of the colors, you're going to see all the different effects that we can get by, by doing that. It can also, you know, make it much smaller and we can, you know, we can keep playing with, with some of these. So that's one thing that I also change. The other thing that I changed is I added what's called a mode. So now I can toggle between drawing mode and effect mode. So if I go into effect mode, I cannot draw. And I still have the issue where it's drawing behind. I need to fix that. But if I go to draw mode, I can draw. If I go to effect mode, now I can't draw, but I can place what's called effects. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with the the, I'll, I'll, the actual motion. So if I want to add a motion, this is going to change to a motion mode. And then if I add other things in the future, I'm going to be adding adding that as well. So that's basically what I wanted to show you today in addition to you know the video that I showed you in the beginning. The other things that I want to improve for the next video, it's going to be making sure that I can know. So if I, if I am in drawing mode and I were to select this, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be drawing in the areas where I'm touching a UI. The reason why it's disabled right now is because the implementation for this component it's not quite working. It actually leaves it even though it's it's done detecting. So I need to fix that before I can fix this. Once I fix that, when it's done detecting the planes, I'm going to hide it completely and then I'm going to allow basically blocking any any interaction with the augmented reality world if I'm selecting a UI. So that's basically what I what I have so far right now. I'm going to be adding you know those features for the previous video tonight. And then I'll show you a new video of those features. If you like what you're seeing and what I'm doing, please let me know in the comments because that's basically reassurance that you're learning from my own experiences. So I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know.